Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial. Always. <laughs> Welcome back to another photo editing tutorial. So basically, I'm frequently asked this question. Is there a high performance photo editing software out there where I don't have to pay the subscription fee? And normally I was like, no, I don't have the answer. I don't know. I use Lightroom, so. But now, for all of you who do not want to pay that fee, I have the answer. So I've started using a program called Luminar, and it basically has all the functions of Lightroom and some others, which I'll go through some today and some in another tutorial. All right, let me start from the beginning and how to make your photos look awesome with some basic tools. Let's jump into Luminar. All right, so I'll click on the library and this is where we can find all of our photos in the folders that we have designed. Click on my Morocco folder. Here's some edits, some photos I was gonna use for this tutorial. As you can see here, we're in the Sahara Desert. Here are some of the shots that I like from there. So let's go with this one. We have some camels at the bottom the sunrise of the Sahara. You see some of the highlights and contrasts and shadows there. So let's get rid of the film strip on the side. And also let's have a look at these presets. So here are the built-in presets designed by Luminar. I like some of the ones in landscape since we're editing a landscape photo today. All right, let's click on the warm sunset preset. So you'll notice that preset is a little bit strong. And here's a function that I love. You can adjust the strength of a preset by that using that slider. That's actually a function that Lightroom does not have, is adjusting the preset strength. But we're not gonna use a preset today. We're gonna start from scratch. So let's get rid of the preset bar by clicking up there. And here we go, here's our raw photo. So first thing we're going to do is crop the photo down so it'll fit to Instagram, so a four by four, so a four by five crop. And we'll just center that a little bit. I like the way that looks there with the camels in the center. Next thing we want to do is get rid of that car. So we're going to use the clone and stamp tool. And that car in the middle of the desert is a bit of an eyesore. So let's just get that out. So first we want to set the source by clicking on the area we want to clone. And then I'll just adjust the size of the brush. And zoom in a little bit. that to clear up there we go and now I'll just start painting in the area from the cloned area I've selected and that's a super nice clone there you can't even see the difference all right as you notice on the right we have no workspace it doesn't look like anything but if we select the professional workspace that'll bring up all the traditional tools that you'll see in Lightroom and kind of all the basic ones that you need so let's just start with a raw develop and we'll adjust the contrast because I really want to bring up the brights down the shadows to increase the contrast in the photo. I'll do the same thing to so highlight shadows, whites and blacks, just to boost contrast. Also get the clarity, boost that a little bit. And we'll head down to Dehaze. It's a nice tool for, for clarifying and increasing contrast. Here's a cool one that Lightroom doesn't have, advanced contrast. You can boost the contrast in the shadow, midtones, and highlights. Here's another one, it's S-curve, you've seen that before that does an amazing job of really boosting the contrast. Okay, the photo's too red. Let's pull down those reds by selecting on the red tone curve, and we'll pull down the reds. All right, continue our way down to HSL. Get the oranges up, but I'm just gonna change the hue a little bit, pull the reds more into the orange area, so it looks more like a desert. All right, we're gonna just pull the vignette down a little bit, draw our eyes towards the center. All right, next up, we click Add Filter, and this is where you can see you can actually add any of the custom tools that you want to the sidebar. Plenty of options there. We have a bunch added already from the professional workspace setting, but I want to adjust, I want to throw in an adjustable gradient. So we want a radial filter. You drop down menu there, you can see the radial mask, and now we're just going to draw a radial mask around our subjects. This is a powerful tool to draw the eye towards the subject by pulling down the exposure in the top part of the photo and then if you select the bottom it'll pull the exposure down and outside you can see if I do it extremely you can see around the subject it really pulls the exposure down but I'll just use that a little bit okay the photo's a bit too bright overall I'm just gonna bring up the exposure a little bit 
and then play around with the highlights and whites just to bring up the light that's in the photo a bit. All right, up at the top here, click on the eyeball and you get the before and after. As you can see, quite a difference. I love this tool here, the before and after slider. You kind of check what it looks like by sliding it across. I just can't stop doing this, so fun. There's the car, there's the car. There's the car, there's gone, it's gone, it's there. So I'm just gonna make some final last minute adjustments to this photo. Pretty much like the way it looks now, with just the, the sunrise light hitting the tops of the dunes. Okay, let's save this photo and export it, and then I'm done with that. All right, so that's basically it for the introduction to Luminar, Luminar 3 with libraries. So all the information is in the description. Make sure to use my coupon code to get you $10 off from $59 to $49. And yeah, if you were looking for a substitution to Lightroom and tired of paying that ongoing subscription fee, this is the answer I'm excited to say. It's a super powerful software. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit subscribe and a notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.